it's surviving. Uh, so I don't even know how much of that went out. There was a fun minigame to the left. There's some stuff at the right. Some people, important people to talk to. Uh, I don't want to actually have any... Well, I have a relic. I don't think I can... No, I need 1500. She has a neat animation as well. So does this horse. A secret. Pride bar. Keep, keep going left. Or going left first is right. This kid's like, oh, let's play. As I let his little wheel slide off screen. jump on her. And she says they're heavy. But there's a reason you can jump on her. There we go. Just money everywhere. This is a rich little village. I'm not even sure what the... Oh, it's a deer lady. Oh, and she kicked me out. Now, before we go to one of the bosses, we're going to go to the Trooper Pond. Aid me! i core. <laughs> Choose your i core wisely. So let's see, you have refill all health and magic, you have invincibility for 10 seconds, and you have absorb treasure. I don't know why I'd want this one. I'm gonna grab one of these. And... There's got to be a reason. I don't think I'm going to need that. I'm going to grab this. And we're a new initiate. And it's clear the people who made this game loved making this game. eyes are kind of cute and kind of disturbing whenever they're open. And that's the triple. I also noticed there is a boss meter. I think you could fight him if you wanted to. But I'm not going to. I am, however, going to do some fishing. <laughs> it pisses him off. I think I picked up a... Uh, not money, but one of those... Music sheets. And you can do this indefinitely if you wanted to. You keep getting, uh... I want to just show you again. Apples! Apples everywhere! But when you go onto the main screen, you're fully healed anyway, so... No point otherwise. This is the one place I've done, so we might as well get this out of the way now. This is a fun area. And the first where you should go left before you go right. And their heads fly up. It's not clear why. You can juggle them. It's kind of amusing. But yes, the main reason you get the fishing rod first is because there are a lot of places that have cool shit for you to get. Also, I'm glad Twitch is uh, agreeing with us now. It was slightly upsetting because I've been thinking about playing this all day. Supposed to be working? Nope, thinking about this. It's just kind of fun. 
very interesting enemy design, level design, all of it. Hey, Snapper! How you doing? I'm glad you're finally around again. Oh. I keep forgetting it's pulled up. I don't know why it's a fish, but I can't really complain. I think this is also the level they showed in some of their uh, trailers. Or some of their demos. This one keep. I should have checked those walls better. Wow. There was only one way to hit by that, and I managed to do it. <laughs> Sounds like you might have a problem, Snapper, but I'm not going to exactly uh, tell you not to. Interesting gimmick on this level? This might be true for all levels, I don't know. This first one I've been to. This is a checkpoint, right? If you keep hitting it, you break the checkpoint, but you get a shit ton of cash! So, you gotta go through it and not die. This guy, you basically have to just keep faking out. Not that challenging, once you get the hang of it. But you could say that all about pretty much this entire game. So I entire oh I fucked it up. But this entire game I mean the first level. Because you can say that on most games is what I meant to say. Once you really figure out how it works, it gets a little easier. Uh is this the one I want? No, I can't come back here. Well, let's just move forward. I did not snap her. I do like Vine Sauce, but I have not uh, not seen him play that. This is where I've died before. And I love that you have to go into the imprint of yourself, and it drags you to no area. And you find Chester, in a box! And he's always one step ahead of you. Player one. Let's try it out. Oh. What a bastard. He reminds me of Patches for some reason, but he hasn't kicked me down a hole yet. Maybe it's just his outfit. There. Well, I did that better this time, that's for sure. I kind of I kind of want to die because the death mechanic is also reminiscent of Dark Souls. We'll go into more detail on that when I die. Hey look, chicken! Oh no! Oh wait, that was good. Last time I opened that it was a bomb. So I guess that's just random. Good to know. And I could go down there, but first... Get all the money. Oh. And hit in the face a little bit. What's wrong with this color, Pepple? Or maybe we need... I just can't see what this color is. 
I like this color. It's green. At least for me, it's green. I don't think there's anything else. No. Oh, the griffin. Jump behind every banner. Hitting stuff all over the place. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize I didn't have to hit those. I just always hit them out of habit. I don't know what habit that is, but it seems like a thing I should hit. So I hit them? I don't know. That's, that's just what I do. Is it what what blinding neon color is it? Is it neon green? I hope it's neon green. Patterns! Patterns, I see them! This, uh, this griffin's very nonchalant. Doesn't really give a fuck. Even when you're murdering him. He doesn't, and he turns into a chicken. So. Explain that sign. Oh, barely got it. I lost a few bucks down there, but I'm okay with it. Because there's this secret stab. I just love how much, much there is to find in this game. There's a lot of it. And even here, you see, oh look, clearly, wall secret. But then over here, there's another one! It's like, what the hell, game? Why are you giving me so much cool stuff? And then treasure chests on top of it all. It's just a lot of nice stuff to find. And I've probably missed something, I'm sure. But at least with a at least a decent once over. You can find most things without trouble. And honestly, I love any challenge that makes you do interesting platforming to get the item. Or to get to the secret. Nope, can't go back up. I do like that you go in front of the boss. Boss text. Words. Words are nice sometimes. Oh. I don't know if I've even seen him attack, really. You know, I bet there's an achievement for bouncing a certain number of times. I'm just, I'm totally betting. Hey, Snapper's blue now! I'm actually gonna leave that one here, because I am gonna come right back. Because I've died here before, and I don't want to die here again. And those checkpoints are serious. You'll, uh, you'll have to redo the entire level if you fuck up. And you don't have a checkpoint somewhere. You know what? I don't know if I check this wall. Well, let's check the wall. Nope, nothing. They seem pretty fair about their secrets, fortunately. And I bet there's an achievement for these things, actually. 
the book. Oh! Disappearing platforms. Don't fuck up. That was worth a ton of money. Oh. Every time you hit the book, by the way, it respawns. Oh, and I haven't even shown the, uh, the gear screens at all. I feel like you might get better weapons, better armor, well, stuff like that, eventually. Oh god, that's right. Sometimes you bring up the Trouble King servants who will build your chalices, or at least one of them. Uh, pretty sure there's nothing under me right now, so I'm not gonna bother. Master. Oof. So yeah, the game has some... Some more challenging parts here and there. Oh, money behind the banners. Bomb. Chicken, ready to fight? Uh, I think if I stand here, yep. How much getting hit by his claw hurts? Although, honestly, even if he fucks you up, he drops a chicken for you, so. And the last of the game. Of the, of the game, yeah. Of the uh, level. That is boss time. Fabulously regal. <laughs> I love the text in this. Bring it, King. He has a pretty basic. He must hop twice, and he must hop twice in a direction. And I don't know what happens if those touch you. Oh. Seems like the safest thing to do is to do the downward attack. BAM! I want the crown, I don't know if I can get the- oh. I don't know if you can get that crown or not. It'd be cool if you could, though. Well, thank you, DS. I think I was pretty bitchy when Monsoon was wrecking my shit, so I don't know what you're talking about, but thank you. I thought I was... I don't know, I just did that that wasn't a good fight for me. Wake up. There we go. And now I have a ton of cash. So it's time to go back. And we are now at the point of which Oh wait, no, I did this too. This completely Mario 3 right here. Completely Mario 3. They're just like little encounters. And now the dragons, the tiny little drakes, or whatever the fuck they are. 
they have a little bit of uh, personality, a little bit of danger. It's like a way above the screen. And I'm always so nervous the gems are gonna fall right off. Oh! And that's it! Just a cool little encounter. And back to town. Look how happy he is! Because you have a lot of music sheets. Although he'll dance even if you have only one. And he does have little stories about every single uh, music sheet. But he'll usually just pick the most important one out of an area if you have more than one. Otherwise, it'd be kind of boring if he talked about every single one in a row. You can just go and uh, see what he has to say about each one yourself. Speaking of which, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of this music. That's the truffle. That's the... Let's spin the bottle. Boss. Or... Right? What a, whatever the hell that place is called. Boss music, but... Which is just the music in this game. I really enjoy it. I definitely want to get some more health. And the price goes way up. I don't know if Chester has more stuff or not. You can re-get music sheets, which is nice. Oh yeah, I didn't buy that yet. Bam. This is an interesting one. It's kind of physics-based. Depending on how it hits and bounces around, it has a certain number of bounces. Don't know how powerful it is, but it's fun to use. Oops. Uh, frog dad. That's what I call him, anyway. Oh. This guy. Now he can rule pride more. I don't know what that means, though. He hasn't given me anything. But I'm curious. 15 piles. Almost 20 grand. Died zero. It's gonna change next level. Only 40 minutes, so I'm actually uh, speedrunning this so far. But that's all this place has to offer. I could get some magic, but let me see if I can buy another one of these. Ah, close. Close, close, close. Might as well. Just kind of hands me it. It's not as interesting as actually eating a meal that is prepared for you. Ah, that's good enough for me. I don't know if there's some... Oh, yeah. I completely ignored this guy before. He wants to know, am I really Shovel Knight? Fuck yeah, I'm Shovel Knight, because I used a shovel. That is all it takes to prove yourself as Shovel Knight. Which is kind of sad, really. I wanna fuck you up. Call my shovel fake. And this is some grizzled seer who's telling me to keep my shit together. <laughs> Sorry, fellow. <clears throat> I'll make sure not to put on boss music again next time. From this point forward, have no idea what's gonna happen. Let's get shoveling. Now, this is a callback to Castlevania if I ever saw one. And the music, wow, yeah. What was that noise? Interesting. Huh. Hmm, 
that's an interesting mechanic. Okay, electric frogs. That's something I didn't expect. Oh. Hey, ghost. Well, even the dirt piles look a little bit different. I wonder, do anything is magic? Yeah, he can hurt me. Huh. Well, what if he's just gonna follow me throughout the rest of the, uh, the area? Oh. Oh! Those are intentional. Come here, Skelly. No. There we go. I was afraid for a second. Can't let that money get away from me. <laughs> so that's what the, the heads are used for. Hey, Silver. I played Metro Last Light on um, 